Uh, hi everyone, this is Professor Golastane. I'm showing you the process of pH titration and we're going to weigh out a certain mass of an or unknown acid, let's call it unknown acid B. And the unknown acid is right here. It's a solid acid and it's very fine powder. So we're going to weigh this acid into three beakers that are going to be set up for pH titration and I have a pH probe that's calibrated for pH buffers 4 and 7 earlier. I did that and I just checked the calibration. It's still holding well. And uh, we're going to be putting the probe into these beakers. I have a magnetic stirrer that will work to mix my solution. So I'm going to put that in my beaker to dissolve the solids as well. And so let's move on. So here we have uh, our, our work. So we're going to use a plastic weigh boat and we will zero the mass of the weigh boat. There you are. And um, I have a spatula, so I'm going to weigh. This is beaker number one, beaker number two, beaker number three. And uh, we're going to be adding uh, 25 milliliters of water to mix with this. Actually, I'm going to, um, yeah, we'll. We'll go with 25. I think 25 will work fine. Might take a little while for the solid to dissolve, but we'll see. So let's start with samples. Please record these values in your notebook. So the first sample. And these sample masses are going to be roughly about 1 grams. So let's go ahead and... Do I need more? Okay, that's perfect. So, first mass, 1.022 grams. Okay, I'm going to transfer this into the beaker. And I'm just going to dry transfer this. All right. Now we're ready for the second mass. But because I want this to dissolve, I'm going to add my 25 milliliters of water and give it some time to dissolve. Okay, now let's start with the second mass. Okay, we have 1.0, let's go with 11 grams. Transferring this to beaker number two. Our third sample is 1.015. Okay, 
Okay, let's take that and transfer it to our third beaker. All right, so we've done with these samples. So now let's put water into the next two samples so we can help them dissolve faster. All right, this is my second one. This is my third one. All right, now I'm showing you the screen where we have the pH measurements. I haven't put the probe in yet, but I'd like for you to record the pH value as well. But let me just make sure that this is dissolved. Looks like it's pretty dissolved. I don't see any powders in there. I see a tiny bit, maybe, you know, these are bubbles. Okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and um, put the probe in. Rinsing the probe. So, Sometimes the, the readout uh, is interfered by the, by the magnetic field of the meter itself. So let's just put the probe in this way. So please record this pH value that you see. Go ahead now, 2.43. So. Okay, we are going to start our first titration. The burette has sodium hydroxide in it, ready to go. The concentration is 0.4852 molarity, already standardized with KHP. So we can rely on this concentration to force sig fig. You have your masses and you had your reading uh, of the pH. So now let's start with uh, the first pH you already have, not this one, the reading recorded, and that's at the zero milliliters of the base added. So we haven't added any base yet. So let's go ahead and add in increments of 5.5. 5. First increment is 0. 0.50 milliliters. So please record each value. Wait till it stabilizes and then record it. Like right now is good, you can record it. And then I'm going to just call out the volume so wait till I call out the volume and then you can go ahead and wait till it this stabilizes and record it okay so 1.00 so you want to record now it's stable enough now adding more 1.50 Record 2.00 Record 2.50 Record 3.00 now 3 3.50 4.00 4.50 
7.50 record 8.00 record 8.50 record 9.00 record 9.50 record 10.00 11.00 now this is the point that I want to go in increments of 0.1 milliliter so we can catch the end point Actually, yeah, 11 point, this is actually, oops, this is 11.15, so I went a little over, so record that 11.15, this is the value. Eleven point two zero. pH is changing more rapidly. 11.20 that's the value 11.30 it's a big change there 11.50 11.70 now let's go to 12 I think we've passed the end point uh, at 12 this is 12 milliliters pH is 10.66 and I'm going to go increments of 0 0.5 12.5 record 13 record 13.5 record and 14 this is our last pH so we passed the equivalence point all right I'm going to stop this
remove my probe. Now we have our second solution, putting the magnetic stator in. I want to put the probe in, but I want to make sure that it's dissolved. It looks like it's pretty well dissolved, so let's go ahead and measure the pH. So please record the initial pH as what you see. Let's go with 2.43, that's good. And I'm going to put that in here. going to refill the burette back to zero. A little bit more sodium hydroxide. Okay, this is ready to go. So we have our second titration going now. So you had the pH, not this one, the pH you recorded at the very beginning. And now that's a zero. So let's go ahead and add. So my first increment is 0 0.50 milliliter. We record 1.00 milliliters. We record 1.50. Two point. Zero zero record two point five zero record three point zero zero record. 3.50 chord 4.00 chord 4.50 5.00 record 5.50 record 6.00 6.50 record 7.00 record 
call 7.50 record 8.00 record 8.50 9.00 record 9.50 record 10.00 record 10.50 Record now. Next time I want to go to 10.7. Make sure I don't miss the end point. So record this at 10.7070. 10.70. Record this. Now I'm going to go to 10.90. Record. Now I'm going to 11. Now 11.1. pH is changing rapidly. There it is. record 11.20 record 11.30 Now let's go to 11.40. Record 11. Point, actually, went a little too far. 11.60. Record. 11.70 record now let's go to 11.90 we're passing the equivalence point record and let's go to 12.1 this is 12.1 Record now. I'm going to go to 12.5. Record, let's go to 13. Record now. We'll go to 13.5. Record and we'll stop at 14. And this is our last measurement. Okay, so done with the second run. So now we only have one more run to do. Okay, let's measure the pH. 
our third sample. So this is the starting pH. So 2.41 recorded. All right, I'm going to refill sodium hydroxide back to zero. It's pretty close to zero already. So let's start. Uh, you already have the zero milliliter pH. Now let's go to 0 0.5. Record one. It's actually 1.00. Record 1.50 Record 2.00 zero. Two Three point zero zero chord three point five zero chord four point zero zero chord. 4.50 chord 5.00 chord 5.50 chord 6.00 Six point five zero chord seven point zero zero chord seven point five zero record eight point zero zero. Record eight point five zero. Record nine point zero zero. Record nine point five zero. Ten point zero zero record ten point five zero record. Now I'm going to go to ten point. Uh, let's go to ten point. 
8.80 I'm going slower record now let's do 11 it's starting to jump record now let's do 11.2 there is a big change there. Record and eleven point three. Record eleven point four. There is a jump. Record eleven point five. Now it's made this big jump, so we're going to go to eleven point eight. So record that at 11.8 milliliters. So actually 11.80. 12.00. Record 12.50. So we can go back to 0.5 milliliter increments. Record thirteen point zero zero. Record thirteen point five zero. Record and the last one fourteen point zero zero. Okay, we are done with this work. So now, there you have it. You have the masses, you have the initial pHs. From the initial pHs, you can calculate the Ka1, first acid ion ionization constant Ka1 for this unknown acid. And from the, um, from the titration graph and the equivalence point, you can calculate the molar mass.